Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got an exciting uh, show lined up for you guys today. This is going to be a first, uh, so let me go ahead and start the water. Uh, I've got so much stuff in front of me right now, but I have a new tea and a special guest to help present it. So, first things first, the first, uh, the tea is going to be Sneha's, what was it? Oh, Mango and Apple Dream. Oops, sorry, I uh, misplaced it on the, uh, on the introduction. But I have the, uh, ap Mango and Apple tree, uh, bleh, Dream. But, uh, as a special guest, I have Sneha herself. She's gonna go ahead and, uh, talk to us about our, uh, about the tea that we're gonna be drinking tonight. Uh, hey, Ma, welcome! So, without further Hello. ado, say hi. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Squawas. So, we're going to go ahead and, uh, first things first, we're going to... Is why is my water stopping? Ah, oh, okay, it's still going. Yeah, it's just acting weird. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so, uh, let me see if I can position this. I'm not, not used to having a special guest. There it's we go. Right. Okay, uh, we gotta gotta give it a little bit. Okay, so <laughs> I, I think that's a good enough distance, right? Yeah, About twenty feet good. away. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open it. Oh, there we oh, go. There we go. Yeah, it, it's childproof. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first impressions. Wanna do the honors? Yeah, it's lots of mango in there. Oh yeah, it smells super mangoey. There's a lot of mango in this. That's the first ingredient. And the second ingredient is uh, is apple. Ma, what's this? Yeah. Hi, how are you? You're doing very well. Thank you. How are you? Oh, that smells incredible. So there's like a huge content of um, of mango in it to the point where it's kind of creamy. Hey, Teresa, welcome. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I actually started a little bit late. That's why uh, that's why you you had a little bit of trouble. Uh, finding us, but here we are. So today we're doing Sneha's Mango and Apple Dream. Yay. We'll go ahead and uh, pour some of this out. Yeah, I made this blend on my own, by the way. Yes, she my made first this... ever tea blend. It Whoops. has no tea in it, though. Yeah, it's an herbal. Uh, it's an herbal tisane. Um, you want to talk about why you chose this particular combination? Yeah. I chose this combination because I love mango from India. Um, I've always grown up eating mango, and so I was, I've was i never had mango in tea before, before Mike introduced me to it, and I was really fascinated with the mango flavor in tea, and so I want to make something that had mango completely infused in it with some berries to cut down the sourness, and it's kind of sour and sweet sort of a tea. Oh yeah. So uh, I'm going to go over the, oops, I almost forgot to go over the uh, ingredients. Uh, so we've got apple, hibiscus, mango, and raspberry leaves. And uh, this tea, uh, I, I have to admit, I did cheat a little bit. We both did drink some of this, but uh, we're presenting it today. So it's kind of, it's, it's kind of a, um, a cheat, but not quite. I've had it before, but it's, it's, it's well, before I start to review it, before the review, uh, yeah. I didn't want to get too far into the explanation. Yeah. Uh, but this was her first attempt, and she would not allow me to intervene at all. Exactly. Like, I, I tried to make suggestions. Ralph, welcome! Tea bags! Uh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I, I tried to make suggestions. She shut me down. She's like, no, yeah. I'm going to do this by myself. So mm -hmm. uh, she, she got uh, Thomas involved. Uh, to help create it, uh, Thomas, as you know, he was uh, he stepped in when we had that discussion about the uh, the uh, the white Darjeeling. Uh, so he works at Adagio. He helped her uh, mix it together, and it came out came out pretty good. I'll I'll, I'll that's about yeah. all I'll say right now. Um, it's a very good iced tea, by the way. It's a oh, very yeah. good summer iced tea. That's why why I made it. Yeah, we've been we've been drinking it iced lately but tonight we're gonna have it hot yeah so I'm gonna show you this Alejandra welcome so uh, why is this not turning there we go 
So take a look at that. That is what the tea looks like. You see it's very, very bright. That's the mango and the apple pieces. Uh, you have the raspberry leaves uh, stuck in there. And you can't really see the hibiscus. There's one hibiscus, little red leaf right there. Uh, that's what only what's showing. I'm sure there's more. Yeah, you see right there there's a few other pieces. I don't know why um, it didn't rise to the top. Uh, but yeah, you see, just see that one little mango piece. Um, so since this is a uh, a uh, uh, an herbal blend, it's not going to be caffeinated. Yep. So we're not going to be like bouncing off the walls this time. But whoops, I don't want to cut the camera. Uh, ooh, but yeah, it looks like the water's done. Yep. So since this is an herbal blend, we're going to. Ooh, that's steamy. <sighs> Uh, we're going to uh, sh we're going to steep it at 212 degrees for five minutes. Uh, I'm gonna pour out that water real quick. Oh, look at that! Ooh. It's, woo, that is a lot of steam coming out. Oh, just so no. You, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Your mom's allergic to mangoes. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, unfortunately. I'll make you a new blend with lots of berries in there. No mangoes. Yeah, no mangoes or else my man's gonna go. That makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. Okay, so we're gonna start the timer for about five minutes. Oh, uh, okay, so now that I poured the water, what is it? What do you what do you sense most like from the uh, from the blend? Actually, the mango is absorbing the water. I feel like you're going to dip into it and eat it. Well, yeah, that's uh, because it's pure mango. You can we can do that before. I've actually done that on stream with a peach blend before. I you know it, okay, it was just it. well, I'm not going to do it now. Why not? Because it's hot. <laughs> First of all, it's hot. Second of all, if I start eating the tea, it's we're not going to taste anything. <laughs> It's just going to be water, so okay. we'll, we'll leave that. We can eat it later, uh, but for now we'll let it. We'll let it. Uh, we'll let Sink it do in. its thing. Yeah. Yeah. But um, okay, so you, you said you, you you noticed that the the water is absorbing. Uh, the water absor the, the mango is absorbing the water. The apple and the mango, and then um, the hibiscus is like kind of giving off color, um, and then there's. Mmm, lots of nice scents coming out. Very berry scents. Um, oh yeah, it's very citrus, mm -hmm. uh, slightly acidic. Um, it, it reminds me of the very berry perfume from Bath and Body Works. You're you're speaking a different language. I'm a I know nothing about Bath and Bath. Bath and, <laughs> I can't even say it. Bath and Body Works. Okay. So yeah, so like talk about the berry the berryness of it. Like what yeah. is it? How strong is it? Um, Actually, it's more mango than anything else. Um, so as far as the berry is concerned, you can smell some of the berries and you can see it. Um, well, there's actually no berries in here. What you're seeing is the, the, uh, the hibiscus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the hibiscus. I thought that was blueberries for some reason. Oh, no, no. Uh, well, I mean, the hibiscus has um, a very bright red tinge to it naturally. Mm -hmm. So you see it does look like berry when it's wet. Um, as a matter of fact, let me show you real quick what it looks like because I see what she's talking about Right there You see the red coloration that's le that's bleeding onto the I can't tell if that's an apple or that's a mango piece Yeah, it looks like an apple the mango piece the mango, is yeah, the, right, the the yellow ones, ones, yeah. the Don't yellow burn ones. your finger <laughs> You're gonna burn your finger and then I have to okay. take you to the hospital It'll be a thing no, but you can see like the color is bleeding onto the apple. That's why it looks like a berry because it looks like it's juicy. And naturally, that's what the hibiscus does. It's got that uh, that tangy berry flavor uh, without it actually being a fruit. Um, they use it in a lot of uh, a lot of uh, herbal blends, like with fruit to complement it. Uh, because it gives off that that kind of connotation of acidic citrus uh, flavor, and you know, I mean, it's it it works well. It's it, it could be overpowering sometimes, uh, but all in all, it works pretty well. Yeah. So if you want to mix caffeine, in it, it would be for green tea or black tea. Yeah, hibiscus goes really well with green tea, like surprisingly well. 
Um, I've had it before, and it's like the uh, oh god, I always uh, the the umami. I always struggle remembering that word. Uh, the umami uh, is kind of like tamed off by the berry flavor, so it works. It works pretty well. Um, I should actually, you know, I should do that one day. Just have a a, a green tea with hibiscus uh, blended in, but mm -hmm. that's for another day. Yeah, hibiscus is nice. I love. Um, have you some Starbucks the hibiscus lemonade? It's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, I actually that's have. actually green, mixed with green tea. Ah, that's where I've had it. I forgot where mm -hmm. I. No, I'm pretty sure I had it hot too somewhere. I forget. I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, like, come a little closer because you're like outside of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. they always see half your face doing this, and it's not not very good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have to be cinematic. Very yeah. cinematic. I'm very <laughs> picturesque. Picturesque. Oh, what's it called? I don't know. I'm English isn't my first language. Yeah, old well, picturesque is a good. It's a good definition. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I, I lost my train of thought, but that's okay because we only have thirty seconds left for the um, for the blend to be done. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and get this ready. Why do we have three cups? Uh, these two are what we're going to drink from. This is where I'm going to store the um, oh, okay. the basket. Yeah, because okay. unless you want it leaking all over the table, that's no. not going to be. <laughs> it's going to be extra cleanup. So okay, uh, I, I tend to make myself self sufficient. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to stop the timer. Yeah. Pull this out. Then we close it. Yep, we can close it. Now, tell me what you what you smell of it now. It's very herbal. Smell a lot of apple and mango. Actually, smell a little bit of burnt mango in it. See, smell burnt mango in it. That actually is from yeah. I, I smell what you're smelling. That's actually from the raspberry leaf. Really? Yeah. It smells like fresh cut grass. Yeah, like the 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 raspberry leaf has a bit of a savory flavor. Um. Kind of close to, uh, what's that, or kind of like oregano, kind of, but not quite. Um, so you get a savory seasoned kind of flavor from it. Um, now the, uh, the original inspiration was from a, uh, a T2 tea. And the raspberry leaf was a substitution for, what was it, white sage, I want to say? No, it was uh, for blueberry leaves or something like that. Blueberry, yeah, something like that. I, 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 it was for some berry leaves. Yeah, they, they, they didn't have it in Adagio, so we, uh, we, changed, we changed it up. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I guess it came yeah. out all right. I don't know how comparable. I put the uh, hole in the back because when you pour it out. No, I did not it's know gonna, that. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's it's very, uh, there's like all these little subtleties where you serve tea. Here we go. Ladies first. I'll do. Okay. You're talking about my cup. It's a Gryffindor cup. Oh, yeah. she's She's got a Gryffindor cup. And what's the other one? Ravenclaw is the blue one? Go for one? it, Mike. You can do it. I, no, I can't. <laughs> I just know. All I know is that Gryffindor is here and she has a blue one. This is a Ravenclaw. That, oh, it is Ravenclaw. Okay, so I got lucky guess. It was a one in three shot. Um, I yeah. don't. I don't even know the other two. Slytherin. Yeah. So, okay, Slytherin. And. And the Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Okay. There you go. Hufflepuff. I think I had some Hufflepuff this year, uh, for for breakfast this morning. Huh? It was a cereal, wasn't it? Hufflepuff. No, you had cinnamon Cocoa Puff. cereal. <laughs> that, that was my joke. <laughs> it's like, nah. <laughs> that was a joke. It sounds like a cereal. Get it? Okay, so I'm pouring this out. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. It looks kind of clear. Now, I'm kind of surprised. Maybe it's just because of the lighting. Um, but in the clear canister, we have... Um, it's, a, 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 it's, it's red because the hibiscus is a very strong red color to it. Yeah, wait. Let me get a glass and see what color is it. Okay, so she's getting the. Uh, well, I mean, you don't want to use a regular glass because it's gonna it's it's gonna be too hot. No, it'll be fine. You sure? Just All a right. little bit. Just a little if, bit. Here. If it pops, if it pops. No, it won't pop. Just a little bit here. Okay, there, there's video here that's showing that you give me permission. That's it. There you go. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. 
Yeah, because it, it looks it even, nothing like when we... it blend? It should have. I mean, it's wet. <laughs> the, the tea is wet. It just may have been the steam. No, I smell it. All right. That's very interesting. Like, for some reason... Here, I'll show you what it looks like when it's uh, iced. Like, this is some kind of science stuff. I don't know, man. So, when it's iced, it comes out like reddish pink. So, I have no idea why it's pretty clear in there. Does it taste alright? No, I mean, it's not blended properly, Mike. I think it's a blend fail. I mean, just water. It's just plain water with slight flavoring. See? No, it's it's there. I taste okay. it. I I don't know why it has that effect though. That's yeah, it's weird. Yeah, maybe you know what? Maybe there was just a lot of mango and apple at the at the top. Yeah, and because I, like I said, like there's not a whole lot of uh, mm -hmm. of hibiscus. Maybe we didn't shake it properly. Yeah, she says it looks like grapefruit juice. It kind of does. Yeah, it does. I'm just thinking that you know it didn't. Um, you know what's it good also good for is like if you like to drink soda and you don't want to have caffeine but you want some nice cold liquid at the end of a meal, this is perfect. Um, so it doesn't have caffeine, it's not soda, it's zero calories, it's trying to lose weight, um, and it's healthy. Why Comfort. do I only have half of a cup? <laughs> we can change cups. No, 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 it's okay. This is just weird. We can take the take it. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take the, the, the little bit of what's left. I don't know. Maybe we just used two big cups and that's what did it. Yeah. You can take more tea if you want. Yeah, you can tea. put a little bit. No, 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 no. You keep the cup, but I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll drink a little bit of here after we're done. So we'll, okay. we'll, we'll be doing, okay. Improv 2, <laughs> we'll be comparing the hot with the cold. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that helps. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we should have used smaller glasses. Uh, you can probably mix it with salsa for a summer drink. Oh yeah, yes. absolutely. Uh, but we'll we'll talk about that once we open up the uh, the cold blend. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, yeah, I'll, I'll go get a glass real quick. Here's a glass. Well, no, because we're gonna be drinking it cold too, just a little bit, not the whole thing. So I'll have some. You have some cold, and we'll do a com a, a comparison. Yeah. How's that sound? That we're gonna perfect. do a full. We're gonna do a full blown review for this. Yes. <laughs> we're it's my first all ever stops. blend. And yes. Yeah, it's available on Adagio.com. No, no, not yet. You have to. We have okay. to create it on Adagio first, and right. then we'll be able to. Okay. Okay, but here we go down the hatch. Cheers. Cheers. To your health. To your health. Wait, okay, that burned my tongue. That you're supposed to slurp it. Remember. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't bother. I was just saying, slurp it. That's how you taste it properly. Okay. Okay, so what are your impressions? What do you taste most from there? Mm. Okay, there's a lot of mango and apple in them. It's almost like a very subtle flavor of the hibiscus. I think um, what may have happened is when you poured it out, you poured more of the mango and the apple out, and not much of hibiscus and the berry leaves. Yeah, I, I think that they... Well, I mean, there's definitely a lot of uh, the raspberry leaves in it. Um, that's why it doesn't taste completely like fruit. Yeah. It's got that savory, kind of salty mm -hmm. uh, taste to it. That's from the raspberry leaves. Yep. Um, I'm thinking that when this was poured into the, uh, into the pouch, it wasn't mixed as well. Annie, welcome. I see you up there in the corner. Uh, so this is, um, I, I, I think that when it was poured in, uh, it just wasn't mixed up well. Uh, she was raised right. She doesn't slurp. Thank you. But then, you see, that's that's how you miss out on the flavor, and that's how you burn your tongue. You don't slurp. It's You're supposed to. to slurp. No, you are. You, that, that's classically, they talk about, they talked about that on the, uh, on the tea tasting, right? Okay. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So I'm thinking that uh, it just wasn't mixed very well. Uh, and you can see the difference between this blend and this one. 
So I'm thinking that more of the hibiscus is on the bottom than than on top. Uh, and somehow yeah. it just didn't make it into this particular batch. Um, but that's when we'll be able to tell the difference between the hot and the cold uh, by the amount of hibiscus itself. That actually uh, kind of helps us out because it, sing it, it, it uh, singles out the one ingredient that makes the difference. Because yeah. hibiscus makes a huge difference when it comes to tea. <laughs> Excuse me. The flavor is usually very... Very acidic, very... T it's very tart. <clears throat> mm. I have been having the hiccups for the past hour. <clears throat> mm. You know, there's a superstition in India that if you're getting hiccups means somebody's really missing you. That's Ma. Ma really misses me. Fix it with food coloring? I don't no, think... I don't think that's the right thing to <laughs> that's... do. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it's, it's, it's not for the matter of color. You'd need to have something... Uh, flavorful in it, mm -hmm. you know. But let me. Uh, oh, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna eat the mango or no? That's an apple. She's gonna eat. Do it on the camera. Do it on the, well, She's already eating it. Didn't even wait till I like, turn her head onto the camera. She's like, ah, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> like mango monster. <laughs> like, ah, nom, 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 nom. Mm -hmm. ah. That's good. <laughs> that's definitely a mango in there. Yeah. With a little touch of cyanide. Ah! I wouldn't poison you. Too late. I'm dead. <laughs> dead yet. yet. <laughs> That's not very promising. It's like, you're not dead yet. Dun, dun, dun. Like, what? What'd I do? <laughs> God. So if you guys don't see me next week, you know what happened. No, let's see. Yeah, you're going to see him next week, I promise. <laughs> yeah, on the news... No. <laughs> mm. So this tea has got uh, just cheat for the camera. Yeah, I, that would ruin my integrity and my uh, my um, my repetition as a tea guru. So you know, I, I I have to. I this is what I do for you guys. Rachel, welcome. I see you up there in the corner. Uh, I forgot my train of thought now, which happens quite often when I talk to you guys. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, so in this blend, I'm getting kind of a, um, a semi-salty, almost a pizza sauce quality. Very faint. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't taste it? No, it's, it's, it's got like a like like that that little salty smokiness behind it. That's the raspberry leaf. Okay. Do you taste it in there? Or you... No, my well, my palate isn't as sophisticated as well when it comes to tea. So. Well, you might want to well wait until it cools off a bit. I don't know if you can uh, if you can handle it. Okay. But if you drink the uh, the tea and just hold it in your mouth and swish it around and okay. look for it, you might find it. Okay. That, that's what I do sometimes, just, um... Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Let's do that together. All right. Bit. Yeah. You're not supposed to swallow yet. <laughs> you just, I said, you gotta put it in your mouth. You gotta sit there and look for it and taste it. She's like, ah, and we're done. Next. No, I have eyes in my mouth. You have eyes in your mouth? No. Oh, I was to say that's kind of creepy. <laughs> like open, like like a uh, Beetlejuice with the eyes that like, pop out. Yeah, that's awful. What reference. You look for it in your mouth. I mean, they well, look, look for it. Like basically taste it. Look for the taste in your mouth. If you want to be like, I don't know. Just search for the taste in your mouth. Search for the taste in your mouth. Yeah, I I, I think that that would make a great slogan for a. For a soda or something. Yeah. I don't know, like taste they sell the it rainbow. to Coca Cola for a million dollars. Yeah, they'll they'll really appreciate that, I'm sure. Sure. Okay, let's try that again. Just a All couple right. seconds. <laughs> Hold it in your mouth. Search for the taste. <laughs> and see if you can find that pizza that that pizza sauce kind of quality to it. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Did you find it? Look no, for not it. Yet. All right. Cheers. Cheers again. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> I 
kind of face. I mean, it's down. I'm like, I can't even do anything. I'm like, <laughs> it's like, ready? Hold it in your mouth a couple seconds. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh, I'm done. It's blood, like, I'm burning my tongue. It's the back I, of my throat now. Well, that's why. That's why I told you, like, like don't if you if you like, let it cool down. Let it cool down. See, it says brave. I'm very brave. Very, very impatient. That's <laughs> brave and impatient. Yeah. It's like, well, I'm done. No, no this is not a, it's not a race. No, right, you, you, you want to try it one more time? No. <laughs> it's burning my throat. Okay, okay. Then I'll I'll do it. I'll I'll hold it for the both of us. That was good. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> but do you taste? Yeah. You just say that now. I know. At this point, like. I mean, I taste yeah, I taste leaves. it now. Shut up. That's what I. <laughs> no, I taste the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, I can't drink. I don't know. <laughs> I go, <laughs> That's it. I, I can't. <sighs> One of us is going to end up choking and on the floor by the end of this stream. I know. Wow. <laughs> and the other's got to call so 911. Here's, here's the thing. When you stick two comedians in front of a tea tasting stream, what's going to happen? <laughs> Chaos, apparently. Yeah. It's going to be like, whew. Okay. By the way, did you know Mike's a very good stand-up comedian? I, I wouldn't say I'm a stand-up comedian, I'm just... Oh, God. Have you ever tried dad jokes on the stream? All the, all the time. Okay. All, like, like they, they happen naturally. <coughs> mm. Dad jokes are my specialty. Ah! <laughs> Alright, that was awful. Very awesome. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> All right, get back to the See, we, we currently have four people watching. It's going to go three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Everybody's just hanging up. All right, we're supposed to be talking about We're supposed Mike. to be talking. We're supposed to be talking, but it's just not happening, apparently. <laughs> Talk about Team Mike. Okay, okay. Back, back on track. We got to go back on track because <laughs> <laughs> this is like going way off course. But in case you've never seen this show before, that's what happens. I'm always getting sidetracked. You have to twist the top a little bit. Okay. Other way. There you go. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah, perfect. Almost went too far. See, now this is the one that has more, um, more hibiscus in it. So you're going to see the difference. You might even taste more of the, um, of the pizza, pizza sauce quality. What's this white, white poo thing in there? I can't see. It's probably just mango, mango pieces. Like, um, when you have mango that's dry, sometimes you get powdery. And, uh, when you put the, put the water in it, it washes off. So that's probably just mango, mm -hmm. mango bits and mm -hmm. apple bits. Okay. Yeah. But can you taste the difference? Yes. It's so much more sweeter because they make sugar, sugar in it. Well, yeah, that is true. Mm. Yeah, this is actually very good. I love, like the tea. Like the, uh, well, I mean, it's your tea, so you kind of have to say that. No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, it could be my disaster also. What's better, uh, the, 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 the iced tea or the, or, you know, that's a good question for you. What's better? The, do you like the hot tea or the iced tea better? I like the hot tea better. You like the hot tea better? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Uh, and is it because it's it has it's less... nice and fresh? Uh, well, yeah, that too. So yeah, I mean, I haven't tasted. You know, I'm gonna try some of the iced tea right now. Okay. Get some of that. With this, I already uh, mixed it up a bit. On the uh, before I before I brought it on camera, I shook it up, so should be good to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can definitely smell the uh, hibiscus in here. Mm. That's good. It's got more of a of, of a full taste to it. Mm -hmm. 
the iced tea, I, I, yeah, I did sweeten it. Um, but it has like a bit of, like, I, I use stevia. But it's got like a bit of a honey kind of sweetness to it. Um, that's when the stevia mixes with the hibiscus. You get the extreme tart slash sour um, berry flavor. And then you mix it with the super sweetness <laughs> of the um, of the, uh, the, 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 the ah, stevia. <laughs> Brain farting. And you get like a, a, a honey kind of fruity kind of nutty uh flavor sorry <laughs> i'm just so used to uh being on my own i'm like oh nothing important here no. <laughs> nothing important this side all mm. right i'm just kidding mm -hmm. but i can taste the um i can taste more it, it's kind of got like do you remember it, well i don't know if you've ever had that lipstick candy no. Kind of thing. Yeah, it's back in the in the eighties. Um, there was this lipstick. It was kind of looked like licorice, but it had a um, a certain texture to it that was uh, like a taffy, and it had a little silver uh, bottom. Okay. But yeah, like it's it's one of those things. Um, so it kind of has that that flavor and texture. Kind of, sort of. Uh, so it was... It, it, it's it's pretty interesting. And this is what I'm getting from the iced tea version. Bottoms up, Mike. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Whew, I'm getting stuffed here. Oh, We just had a big dinner and I'm like, Ugh, I'm stuffed. But anyway, <laughs> so... Um, Back to the tea. What is what is your favorite um, a, a, you, not adjective? What's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, what is it that you, that you look for in a tea, flavor wise? Me, so for me, it's the freshness of the tea. Um, I don't like tea that's strong, bitter, and does not go down smooth. Um, so anything that's like. Uh, matcha, right? Which is super bitter or super bitter. Well, it tea. depends on. I, I have to make some of the right stuff for you. Okay. Because <laughs> it depends on on the source. Well, but bottom yeah, line, I, know you're I don't like. About. I don't like bitter tea. So for me, um, the teas that are naturally sweetened, with a good amount of caffeine, um, those are my favorite kind of teas. So it has to be caffeinated. I would prefer it. Yes. Understandable. <laughs> Yeah, I drink a lot of caffeine. I can't say I drink a lot of coffee on this stream. Well, I mean, you can say it. It would just be very disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> like, coffee. Arr. No, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's perfectly fine. Everybody has their preferences, no matter how wrong they are. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. I, I'm an awful human being, you guys. Mm. Oh. oh, by the way, uh, we'll be in uh, New York next week. New York, yes, yeah. we will so be. So any, any, um, any uh, requests from here in Chicago, any kind of tea that you guys would want? Well, if we, uh, if we do a stream there, because... No, but we could always take tea for your mom and your sister, at least. This is true. <laughs> I mean, I, I, could, I could just ask them, like, off the stream and we'll figure that out. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, essentially, you guys are the only ones watching tonight, so. <laughs> but anyway. Ugh, I got a little bit on this corner. Oh, uh, but yeah. So we'll be in New York next week. So if you don't see me, I might not be dead. You see, look at what you, look what you started. Now she's still saying she loves coffee. Of course, everybody loves coffee. It's the most coffee. popular drink in the U.S. Yeah, but, eh. Have you ever heard of Starbucks? No. I have no idea who they are. They're a billion dollar company selling coffee. I don't know how they do it. Mm -hmm. This gingerbread... Ginger. Oh, the, the gingerbread tea is seasonal. They're not going to have it... Uh, they're not going to have it in Adagio until... Christmas. Yeah, like closer to Christmas. Um, 
I can look and see if I can find anything online, but yeah, I, I can't make any guarantees because it's it's seasonal. But I mean, at that point, you might as well just uh, order it on online and have it shipped there. Um, but they do have the T two T at. Uh, do they have a pumpkin spice latte tea? A spum, uh, spumpkin. <laughs> A pumpkin, pumpkin spice. They do have different kinds of pumpkin spice. They have mm-hmm. uh, honey bush pumpkin chai. Yes, there they is do have one. That. There is some. But there is, um, you have to be careful with that because sometimes you have like a pumpkin flavored black tea and all you can taste is the black tea. The pumpkin honey bush chai is uh, what I prefer. Uh, it's it's not caffeinated and it's not overpoweringly strong, so you do get the pumpkin flavor. Uh, that's another one that I don't think it's released yet. Um, it's usually <clears throat> uh, it's usually brought back uh, by the time October comes, so I would wait a little bit. Um, I'm actually planning on doing a. a, a uh, one of my one of my pumpkin my own pumpkin blend blah, pumpkin blends sometime next uh next month in october um you know once fall comes i tend to uh head more towards the 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 fall teas but uh this year i have an idea that might be a a, a little fun uh i'll talk more about that when the time comes. Uh, in the meantime, let's keep on. <laughs> let's keep on drinking. Okay. Mm. Oh, by the way, um, uh, this tea, if you kind of like freeze it, um, make an ice cream out of it, it actually be a very good ice cream. It'll be a subtle vanilla flavored milk ice cream. Yeah, that, that raises an interesting point because... When, uh, normally when, when I make, uh, I, I make tea, you would have to, I mean, not make tea, make ice cream, you would, can only put the ingredients that you're going to ingest in there, uh, but since this is a tea that we'll have to steep, um, we have to figure out a way to either powder it, um, or steep it, but it would have to be in hot milk first. Yeah. Or we could just... Pour it in. No, we can't just pour it in. That's the thing. Like I don't know how ice cream's made. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's done with cream and not water, so okay. it, it's going to be a harder, um, a harder way to steep without changing the chemical. Okay. Um, it can be done in a couple ways. Uh, for instance, people make matcha ice cream by putting the matcha in the actual ice cream, and it works because matcha is meant to be ingested. Uh, and it blends really well. <clears throat> uh, you could probably do like a vodka infused tea uh, and make it into Ooh. a real drink or popsicles. Well, if I drank, <laughs> I'd probably do it. But they do have it. They they do have alcohol uh, and tea cocktails. Uh, they're called um, what is it? Uh, um, um, it's a, a toddy. It, it's called hot toddies, and that's specifically what it is it's an alcoholic tea beverage um they do have they that is a thing um i don't know if you can uh make alcoholic popsicles i mean i'm sure you can but i have no oh, idea yeah, you can make alcoholic popsicles i've done that before oh, okay cool because i i'm not a drinker so i know nothing about mm-hmm. that um but now we know my sister's an alcoholic, and uh, no, no, she's not. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm she's kidding. so mean. <laughs> I am. I'm a ter- like I said. I'm a terrible human being. That's that's what you're I'm not all a terrible about. human being. You're just mean to your sister. I'm just I'm mean to everybody. You know. Yeah, but he's like he's very mean to you most of the time. Just so you know. Oh, well, she knows. She okay. knows. <laughs> I mean, considering the last time I was in New York, I told everybody on the stream that my mom fed me crack. So, (laughs) calling my sister, (laughs) saying my sister's an alcoholic is actually kind of mild for my usual. 
<laughs> God, I'm, I, I'm just being awful. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just like, <laughs> okay. I'll behave. I'll behave. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay. Anyway, so we're about that time. It's uh, eight forty-five here. So I'm gonna open up the um, the, uh, the 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 floor for questions or comments or anything you want to talk about. This is now your time. Um, I know, Teresa, your question. What would we pair this with? Um, so what would you pair this with? What desert? Um, like a pumpkin or a berry desert or strawberry ice cream. Strawberry ice cream, yeah, that might actually go well with the uh, the apple and mango blend. Yep. Uh, with the hibiscus, the the ice cream would act as a sweetener. So absolutely, yeah, that'll definitely go together pretty well. Yeah. So in, <clears throat> yeah, so for sure. So like cake um, with this, and then a tea to kind of like take it down the throat, like. Next <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I, I know. I'm already expecting it. But, you know, I'll, I'll make out my last will and testament uh, before I get on that plane. <laughs> yeah. If you guys kill me, you get nothing. <laughs> yeah. Sorbet. Sorbet. That's such a very good Sorbet idea. with, with uh, whipped cream. Get a little bit of whipped cream in there. No. No, you don't like the whipped cream in the, uh, in the sorbet? No, I mean the whipped cream with the steam may not go Oh, no, 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 no. You don't put the whipped cream in the tea. You make that as part of the dessert and then you eat it all together. Yeah, sure. Why not? But how does it go with this tea then? Well, I mean, you get like... It, it's the same thing as eating strawberry ice cream. You know, you have the cream... Because the sorbet is uh, water-based. Okay. So you're not going to have like that, that creamy... Hmm. Uh, what was for dinner? Burgers. We went completely unhealthy this time around. We went. We, we ordered from Five Guys. Mike ordered from Five Guys. Yes, and they had the super soggy fries that... The most disgusting uh, fries I've ever seen in my life. Super soggy. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I did not see that coming. I only had Five Guys once, um, and it was just... it was. They're, they're famous for their milkshakes, actually. I've never had their milkshakes. Actually, my I... mom loves their milkshakes. They have a strawberry milkshake, which my mom had, like... Literally every day for a week. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. She was like, I'm vegetarian, I can drink this. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> well, she didn't do bug himself. She, well, I mean, like, that would give her brain freeze, I'm sure. <laughs> Just imagine, she's like, I can drink this. Oh! Ah! <laughs> brain freeze! Oh my god, Mike. <laughs> that would be awful. Like, that this, would be ouch. very awful. <laughs> and ouch, yeah. Oh, brain freeze, man. <laughs> oh, my God. See, already I'm, already, I'm getting on your mom's bad side now. <laughs> yeah, she watches your streams. So. Oh, I know. Oh, that's, I mean, you're very lucky if you haven't had Five Guys before. Um, it's nothing to write home about. I would prefer maybe White Castle over Five Guys, for sure. <laughs> Or even McDonald's, for that matter. Like, the, the burger, the burgers were, were pretty good. Um, the fries, hmm, I don't know anything about their milkshakes, but I'm sure those are good. Yeah. I mean, we kind of, like, got it, like, delivered. That's why, I mean, with fries soggy, if we had it in store, we have a different experience, probably. Yeah, probably. Oh. Yeah. I'm already most of the way through my uh, <laughs> my tea, but I mean, to my credit, it did only fill up to about halfway. So, I've been um, I've been nursing it a little bit. Uh, but anyway, okay. So uh, announcements, announcements. Uh, I next don't really week, next week. Well, I mean, yep, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if you don't hear from me. I'm either dead or in New York, so <laughs> or dead in New York, depending on when she gets me. But <laughs> um, what else? Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything planned at the moment. Um, the uh, oh, the tea uh, convention is coming up. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably gonna try to do some streaming, depending on their uh, uh, Shake Shack is. Yeah, you, you, you can skip it. 
it's really nothing special. I don't know why people like go crazy over it. Yeah. It's overpriced and there's There's nothing. a Wahlburgers named Shake Shack and that's better. Yeah, I like the Wahlburgers better. Mm-hmm. Um Shanna, Nicole, if you seeing if you're seeing this, yeah, I had without you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you should be. Mike was like, "Hey, Snay, I want to try Wahlburgers." <laughs> I was like, "Shanna, Nicole wanted to go with you." Mike was like, "Oh, that's fine." <laughs> Yeah, no, I, that conversation did not happen, I promise. <laughs> no, it was just, I, I, I knew that you guys wanted to see, wanted to have it, but I, ha- I, I, I had to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had to jump on it. Oh, whew, okay. Um, I, you were an announcement. Announcement, yeah, yeah. I'm losing my, my train of thought. Um... Yeah, oh, that's what it was, the, the, the tea thing. There's, there's really a huge line. Yeah, and I don't understand why. Like, it's, it's not that great. Well, I think it's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a burger, but I've had burgers before, and there's nothing that special about it. I mean, I tried, mm-hmm. they had one. It was a burger that's made out of mushroom with cheese in the middle. It was decent, mm-hmm. but, like... Eh, it was like it, it just wasn't it just wasn't worth the price not to me anyway uh uh but yeah i was talking about the uh the tea convention the uh what is it the midwest it's the chicago tea convention no it's not chicago it's, it's midwest um ah. it's the midwest tea expo okay that's what it is yeah so we will be uh going there and most likely streaming uh, our experiences from there uh, at uh, it's going to be on a Sunday I don't have the exact date uh, but if anybody's interested I can send you the link to get tickets it's definitely going to be worth it um, there's going to be tea professionals from all over the country coming by uh, tea is uh, s- some of the um, staff is going to be hosting Mm, excuse me. Some of the staff is going to be hosting uh, some of the lectures, so that's going to be that's going to be awesome. Um, Tilula is going to be there, Juliet. If you're around, uh, <laughs> I hope to see you there as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know if Adagio is going to be there though. I didn't see I, them. Yeah, I should I should ask Lance see if. Mm-hmm. See if they're going to attend. Most likely they will, or they're going to have representative representatives walking around. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it'll be a lot of tea. Yeah, it'll be a lot of tea and a lot of fun. Okay. So, uh, stay tuned. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to walk um, in there with the Starbucks cup. Oh, God. <laughs> That's gonna be, we're going to get kicked out. Just It yeah. could have tea in it. It could have tea in it. Probably wouldn't. But it could have tea in it. Just to see what happens. Yeah, and, and you know, that's what they said at Chernobyl. What does this button do? Yeah. Yeah, so I would not be that curious. Okay. I will disavow any knowledge of your existence should you, <laughs> should you get us kicked that out. That is so mean. <laughs> oh, anyway. I, I'm, I'm going to be kicked out today anyway. <laughs> Mike, you're very yeah. mean to me. Oh. <laughs> There's a chocolate convention here. Wow, when? That sounds incredible. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's that's gotta be something that Oh, if Teresa is listening by the, talking about conventions, I heard there's a Comic Con in New York. Can you please get us those Funkos? <laughs> you see she's <laughs> addicted. Addicted to Funkos. <laughs> and I just feed into it. Like I'm I'm the worst. Oh, but anyway, okay, questions, comments, I have like literally one sip left. So questions, comments, anything you guys want to talk about, now uh, is the time to bring it up, or forever hold your peace. I'm already done. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know you're done, you're just like, yeah, I'm good. (laughs) Oh, okay, there we go. So, uh, thank you guys. We're going to wrap this up here. Thanks for joining us. Uh, 
unfortunately, there's no link yet to buy this tea. But once we once we have it created on the um, and on the the Adagio site, I'll be happy to promote it on the uh, on the community. So go ahead and um, keep your eyes open for it. In the meantime, have a good night, have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> good night, everyone. <laughs>